Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Blazor hybrid applications with .NET MAUI inside of Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. .NET multi-platform application MAUI is a cross-platform framework which is developed by Microsoft. It enables you to build a cross-platform applications with a shared code base that can run natively on Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. So the Blazor hybrid applications are native apps that can leverage web technologies like HTML, CSS, etc. And of course, for this video, we used the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 preview since the .NET MAUI is at the moment a release candidate, it's, so it's not in a development at the moment or in production at the moment. So if you look on the screen, I've actually got the Visual Studio installer opened. Yeah, so I, I've got um, the Visual Studio 2022 community and then the preview installed on my system. So for this video, like I said, we use the preview. So we click on the modify. So here, obviously, we can install the necessary workloads to get us started with the um, .NET MAUI. So here, uh, under the desktop and mobile, we've got the .NET multi-platform apps UI development. So we check on this box, yeah? Then we can check on this, um, the .NET the desktop development and universal Windows platforms, yeah, just to run our project. Yeah, so once, you have, once you've checked on these boxes, then you download and install from this part, yeah? And for this video, we also run the same code on, we uh, use the Android emulator. So you can also download and install the Android emulator if you don't have it. So you can get it from this, from here. So add um, the emulators, so you can check on this box as well, yeah? But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, we're not gonna look into that, yeah? So once you download and install it, then we obviously we can launch the VS 2022 preview. So here, click on the create a new project. So here on the, on the platform side here, we can select iOS, Android, yeah. So I'm just gonna select the Android here. So we scroll down. So as you can see here now, we could actually create a .NET MAUI app, or uh, we can create the .NET MAUI Blazor application. So we're gonna select this here, and then we go next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details, yeah. But we're not gonna look too much into that, yeah. So we click on the create. So this might take a while for the whole thing to load. So I'm just gonna pause the video then okay so as you can see here now we've got the project opened yeah but before we, we run it for the first time we're just going to look we're just going to look at what is inside the project i mean the the template right so first let's see we've got this um data folder it's got a class um, weather forecast.cs so this actually has the weather forecast details yes like the day temperature and whatnot yeah and we've got the service that will generate the data for the weather forecast yeah so it's still a very simple stuff we're not going to look too much into that yeah so we come inside the pages so if you're familiar with the with the .NET call then you understand what was actually going on here so basically we've got um index.razor so this actually renders the the main razor page yeah and then we've got this counter dot razor. So this actually gets some 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 details here using the, both the HTML and C sharp. Yeah. So as you can see, it's got at code here just to use the C sharp code. Yeah. And then we've got this fetch data. Yeah. It's also got a very simple HTML and some few um, few C sharps. Yeah few C sharp code yeah so we come inside the platforms here so basically these are the targeted platforms so basically we can actually for this say for this code here we can directly run it on Android iOS 
Mac Catalyst, Windows and Extra, yeah? So, and the resource folder contains the images, fonts, and whatnot, yeah? And of course, in the shared, contains the layout. Yeah, if you're familiar with .NET Core, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very similar. So this actually, this is the main layout, and it's actually referencing this nav menu for navigation menus, which is this. So basically this for the navigation. So as you can see, it's a very simple stuff, yeah? And then this for the survey. So basically, <coughs> This will like we, one way we run it, we see <coughs> where all this is coming from, yeah. And then we've got this WW root folder which contains the CSS and, and the fav icon, and then the index.html, which I'm, I, I guess is the entry for the application, yeah. So, as we can see here, it's very simple, and we've actually got the uh, uh, the main program. So basically, this is the entry point for the program. So if you if you're familiar with .NET Core, then this will be like this will look very familiar to you. Yeah. So basically, we're actually configuring the uh, the fonts. So I think I guess you can you can configure a whole lot of stuff from here. Yeah. So now we come inside uh, running it. Yeah. So first of all, we're going to build it. So we build a project. So we've got the build succeeded. So we just go into the build, I mean, running it. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a couple of devices that we can target, like I said earlier on. So we can target the iOS simulators, the Android emulator, um, the Windows local machine, yeah, and whatnot. So what we do is just, um, first of all, we're just gonna run it on the Windows, yeah? So and let's see what actually comes up. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing runs. So as you can see, we've actually got the um, the application running, running as a Windows desktop application. Yeah. So that same code here, we could just run it as an Android application as well. So I'm just gonna pause this bit here, and we're going to open the. We're gonna run it as an Android. So we come back here. So let's see the Android emulator. Yeah, so I'm just gonna come to the Android emulator. So I'm just gonna pause it because this might take a while while the, the, the emulator starts, yeah? So as you can see, I've, I've got the emulator up now. So we're just waiting for the project to build and then, and then install on the Android emulator. So <coughs> as you can see here now, we've got the same application running on Android, yeah? So you could do the same thing for iOS and Mac OS as well. So like I said, this video is just to get you started. So I'm just going to leave it here and we go into further details on our upcoming videos. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the video, I mean to the channel, please make sure you do. Because I've got loads of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.